this video we're going to bust the myth that Mark Kroom actually drew pliers. First we're going to go to Google, because that's where Mark would have gone. And we're going to search for some line drawings of these pliers. And find a pair of pliers that will work out really well. So we'll grab this one and just view this full size. We'll just drag and drop it over into our workspace to begin working on it. Just going to rotate it a little bit and zoom in just to see what these pliers look like. Look pretty good to us. So we will uh, go back and this time just hit trace bitmap outline trace line art trace. And it's going to open up power trace for us. And then it'll trace that bitmap into vector drawing. I'm going to remove all the fills here and click OK. Um, so now it's been traced. First thing that we'll do is we'll reduce the nodes. There's 98 nodes now. I'm just going to bring that down to 59 just to clean it up just a little bit. And then we will rotate it again um, just so that we can see it a little bit better. We're going to draw a line um, inside one of the lines here to see what the line thickness is. You can see it's 0 0.057 inches, which isn't quite sandblastable, which is all right. We'll just take that and hit the B up here to bold this object, and that'll add a little bit more uh, boldness to it. Now, checking it again, it's 0 0.087, which is perfectly sandblastable. So all we have to do to get it to cut now on a plotter is send it to the cutter. So we'll do that. Send it to Winplot here. And Winplot will bring it in for us. And it is now a cuttable file of pliers. So, myth busted.